Hi, this is Simon from Mercer. This is a quick video to show you my cart and also how I kind of organize it inside the van. So the cart sits in here in this little snug compartment and it's all kind of held in with these cords. Uh, when we need to get it out, we just unclip it, pull it out. We also organize some other things here down the side where you get boom poles. You can just pull out boom poles from here and also umbrellas and stands and stuff. Normally a mag liner would go in the center of this trolley uh, in the space. Uh, other things are like little tubs for cables, all sorts of tubs for radio mic accessories, lots of other boxes would go here and here. And also up at the top is a tent for keeping dry and warm. And I'm going to show you guys that in a bit, how to build that and how that's sort of part of the whole rig for the trolley. All right, let's get this thing out. Can you give me a hand? Okay, and in the back of the van, there are the three levels. Again, not everything's in here at the minute, but this is where we store the tent. And this is an essential piece of kit for any sound man. I'll show you. And uh, that's the sound tent. So we're going to get the trolley in there now. <laughs> Just going to put it right in the middle. Okay. So always on the trolley I've got an extra pole just to gather atmosphere and stuff. This is called my Atmos Boom. This will just be kind of sitting on the trolley or be extended out from the trolley. The aerials being inside the tent means I can't lift them that high. So I'm going to show you what I do with an aerial stand. So I'm just going to take the aerials off. Off the trolley. Take all the off. This side. The aerials are set up outside the trolley on this stand. So we just come out here and we've set the aerials up there. That allows me to move them around. The length of this is about seven meters. So I've got a fairly decent length for the aerials. The trolley itself. Um, okay, so I've got 12 radio mics. So we've got the Electrosonics SRBs on top and we've got one Electro Audio Limited A10 receiver here. So for my wireless booms, they go into here, digitally into the 688. And um, you see it's recording that right now, it's recording my, um, my microphone. And down here I've got a CL12, which is a sound device's mixing desk. So that's all basically running uh, my radios using this little uh, sort of Velcro system where I can just kind of flip people's names across and easily access different people's names and put them along this sheet here. Uh, using the sound device's wingman on this um, i, I uh, phone uh, <laughs> to just primarily for that and also obviously use that for notes and down here um, we've got a uh, shelf and I've got all sorts of gubbins in here uh, things like compact flash card readers, RF explorers um, all sorts of other useful things always important to smell good on set um, and down here we've got the batteries in order to keep the uh, trolley nice and light, uh, we, we can take these off easily, take it upstairs, and then um, and that really helps kind of keep everything nice and light. Let's go around the back of the trolley. So this is the messy part of the trolley, and I apologize profusely. Basically, we've got all sorts of outputs coming out here. So if I want to be running speaker outs or induction loop outputs, I can do it from there. The distribution for the power is back here. So basically one in and then lots of splits from this remote audio uh, splitter. Um, and um, back here, this is more of the complicated sort of comm side of it. There's a little, um, this is a, a, a free channel sound devices mixer. And into that goes a variety of feeds from my crew on set. They'll talk back to me. It will go into this and that will be split so I can hear them talking, talking back to me. Right. Okay, so the sound trolley, um, it's kind of um, set up to be quite easy access and ergonomic. 
The two monitors are right in front of the mixing desk so I can see I'm really closely watching those, watching the meters and also reading off the side sheet I've got here. This is basically on a little swivel so I can bring it in to get through closed doors and stuff and pack it away and bring that out. So it's easy for me to just sort of kind of quickly read it. Uh, and also I quite like paper rather than having it digitally. I like to be able to scrawl all over it and stuff. And the fastest way for me during takes is I might scribble out a line or put no good or something like that during a take. So I quite like to have it all on paper. So I use these HD26 headphones and these are great because they've got an inbuilt flip down microphone. So the microphone will basically be used by me to talk to my team. So when I press my comm button on my 6 uh, CL12, that enables this microphone around my head and they can then, my team will then hear this on the private line which is transmitted out of this transmitter up here. So the transmitter here transmits to my team. Then when I want to hear what my team are saying to me, they're also wearing these headphones. They flip down the mic on their headphones, speak into it. They're wearing a transmitter that gets received by one of these units up here. This then goes to a mixing desk at the back of the trolley. And when I press my return button here, this return button here, because it's lit up, then I can hear what my team is saying back to me. And we can all communicate at the same time together. So I'm talking, they're talking. It's like a normal, natural conversation. And that's really great that we can have kind of flowing conversations between takes uh, to quickly organize and figure out what we need to do. So that's how we do it. We yeah, use this button and that button. And without that, it would be really difficult to get our jobs done quickly. Also in the trolley, I've got, so this is a time code system. So the ambient master locket. So I set my time code from this it transmits out to all of the other units on set so the camera will have a little wireless uh, mini receiver on it and it will receive from this ambient locket here and also in here I've got a little battery distribution smart battery distribution basically I just like to have my trolley as convenient and compact as possible it allows me to get it into small places I can kind of get it through narrow doors and into small lifts and I could just get it in places which allow me to be a bit closer to set than you might otherwise be able to be with a larger trolley so yeah it's all just about convenience and speed and it's very personal to me and the way I like to work other people will have completely different rigs and that's absolutely fine because everyone works differently there is no right or wrong way to do the way to do the way you work it's just down to personal preference um, but this has kind of developed over years of kind of trial and error and tweaking and adjusting little things and I'm sure if another job comes along that has a completely new requirement for me uh, I'm going to be ending up changing this and it's going to look like something very different in a couple of months time so right now uh, 2020 um, <laughs> this is how it looks I hope this has been a useful video thanks very much starting to rain.